slow tire visas and man the crowd. So this happened a while back, didn't it? Right, a few weeks ago, I think now. But slow tire got into a bit of a pass up with some guy at the Enemy Awards. And Enemy Awards, I'm sure most of you guys are aware. You know, it's the chance for all the crazy so called bad boys of the industry to kind of act out, show how cool they are, show how edgy they are, right? And maybe slow. This was slow tire's occasion to kind of you know parade himself around and make sure everyone knows that he was the kind of you know the the, what would you call them the the loose cannon of the group right of the industry and again i don't know much about the story i don't know why he got into his passa passa but it essentially um kind of maybe revolved around the post some lady called Catherine, something right Catherine brian or Catherine ryan i don't know what her name is she's supposed to be a comedian on some kind of panel shows we have here in the uk which i don't watch because i have a tv cue my hips a little tick there dick um but yeah, um, he got into a bit of a passer. This is the incident here on Twitter. I'm going to quickly go through it and just kind of break down what I think might have happened and offer some of my opinions on the matter. Again, it's past now, it's over, but hey, why not, right? So, um, so, so this is, um, this is a, a video from <laughs> Twitter uh, that basically t- describes the situation and you can hear slow tie here kind of... Uh, you know, speaking or shouting at somebody. Jealous, 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 jealous. I didn't get jealous. She got jealous. She got jealous, everybody. He's screaming about something. Smell my cologne. Smell it. Mm. Smells good, doesn't it? Smell his cologne, right? So I'm assuming he's pulling this young lady towards his chest region where his cologne is located. Um, and she's probably, you know, feigning interest, uh, sheepishly being embarrassed. And obviously, because Sota is in a drunken, inebriated state, he thinks he's the man right now. But little does he know that everyone in the crowd is cringing and trying to fall back into their pockets. Right? So, uh, let's... What is happening? What is the protocol for this situation? I was just protecting my... Okay, cool. So, he's trying to get all over the host at the award show. She's being a consummate pro and kind of fending off his interests and trying to talk into camera. It's weird, isn't it? Because I guess if you're on stage... And again, maybe this Catherine woman is a fairly attractive young lady who a lot of people are fond of. And maybe when you're in that inebriated state and you're a slow tie, you might just think, maybe because you're that, because I don't know, I'd be aware that I'm on camera and that I'm in front of a live audience, right? It's not as if like, I've bumped into this lady at my favorite dive bar and she happened to like walk by me. Oh my God, wow, that's my chance. Like, it's in front of everyone. You would be kind of aware of where you're of the environment and what you're doing but there may be a sometimes defense as well maybe he's also playing up to it and trying to create like a little viral moment right try and do he's trying to be he's he's trying to be just into her janet right maybe i don't know um but it's a weird one isn't it so then we move on to the next video and this is the actual insert i'm assuming they got into some like, i don't watch the whole thing because it's pointless now because it's past but they get into they, they get into some little weird back and forth you know um smoochy smooch thing and then it transpires that what it, it leads to some kind of fight with someone in the crowd who I don't know who the guy was. Maybe it was a white knight. Maybe it was her boyfriend, uh, fiance, brother, label mate, a friend, a concerned citizen, whoever it was, then end up getting into some sort of back and forth with Slow Tide. And Slow Tide decides he wants to be Khabib Namagamedov and jump into the audience. But he doesn't quite do it in the way that you'd think he was going to do it, right? So here it is. <laughs> This is the video of him kind of now being the bad boy, right? Look at him. So he's so he's obviously on stage now, banning a zoo, being a bad boy, wearing Virgil's Louis Vuitton clothing. It's just interesting, isn't it? How you can be that much of an edgy bad boy from the hood when you've got like, I don't know, 10 grand worth of clothes on. <laughs> it's just funny to me, isn't it? That thing. It just reminds me of those kind of, you know, those kind of pretend gang. It, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, Palace aren't like that anymore now because, you know, they, they've kind of turned into a legitimate company. But remember when they were first like ratting around London and they were all wearing like taxi bottoms with loafers and talking, I don't know, in a certain way, right? And like, it's just like, Lads, you're from Crystal Palace, like, do you know what I mean? Allow it, like, rein it in. <laughs> it reminds me of that kind of thing, isn't it? Like, you know, edgy. I don't know, man. Like, you know, you you, you sold a couple of zoots, and now all of a sudden, I don't know. Now all of a sudden, you think you're you think you're goldy. You know what I mean? It's like, mm, I don't know, man. Anyway, this is him on stage. <laughs> 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 
Then the back and forth with some guy in the state in the crowd. Someone throws a bottle, which is standard enemy protocol. Reminds me of that one time when uh, people threw, what was it? Was it why the leaf will be? People throwing bottles of piss at the stage when he was performing one time. Standard UK fodder, and when they don't like what they see, you just chuck stuff. So yeah, he's getting pelted with bottles. He starts to flash his drink at the guy. The guy keeps swinging him so that jumps down like he's coming on like a medal. But obviously, he's not going to be unstuff, in it, really? Because if he wanted to do him stuff, he would have just jumped down and flag kicked him in the face, innit? From that height, wearing those Louis Vuitton boots, he could have done the guy damage. But obviously, he's not really on that vibe. He's just trying to act like a big man. Um, which is which is a shame, really, isn't it? Because he's an incredible artist, incredibly talented. Um, his previous album was great. Um, socially conscious dude seems pretty, you know, on point. But maybe... The alcohol was really a, a description. Uh, maybe alcohol really was an op- opportunity for him to kind of show who he really was. I don't think so. I think, you know, everyone's allowed a little public misstep. But I also think if he was really about crud, if he was really on stuff, he would have just jumped and just fly kicked the guy like Khabib did when, you know, when Khabib jumped into the crowd and fly kicked. Who did he fly kick? Was it Connor's guys? It must have been Connor's guys, right? It was Who was it in particular? I forgot who it was, actually, when he did that kind of like, you know, fly kick or that. But he wasn't really on that. So it's like jumps on stage. And to be fair, look look, look how skinny the, the security guard. The security guard's a fairly small dude. And look how he pushes Slotak back into the into the stage. So it's like jumps, you know what I mean? He's not the he's not the strongest. Dude. See? He throws it back as well. You know what I mean? See these palace skateboard gangsters in it. <laughs> It's like, what is this? And look, and the woman that he's kind of, he was all up in her face, right? Look at the, the black girl, like, oh, I'm out, all right? I'm minding my business. She's got her drink, she's out. The lady that he was all up in, up in her grill is still concerned and still trying to calm things down. She's an absolute legend. And then what transpired after the fact was that she completely, I think Sotai came out and made an apology, like saying, oh, I'm sorry, put a tweet out and stuff. And she was super cool about it. She's like, yeah, hey. Mistakes happen. I, kn- I knew you would uh, come around. Whatever. Da, da, da. I don't know. Something really classy. And it just made me think, man. Just number one, how different I think for the most part British women are or European women are to like the, uh, their counterparts in the States who would immediately have kind of claimed victimhood. And also it goes to show just how much of a classy woman she is herself, right? Let's give her some props, actually, because I, 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 I'm not actually mentioning her name because this is all oh, devolves into nothing. And that's, what's her name is? What's the lady's name here? Her name is Catherine Ryan, an absolute uh, wonderful woman. Like, congratulations, right? She went there, and this is like, is she actually wearing the same outfit? Or is that a different outfit? Yeah, same outfit. Okay, she was there with her husband, actually, Oof, with her with her fella. So, Slow Time was taking a bit of a risk there, doing all that kind of uh, smoochy moochy. But yeah, a, fair, a, 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 a good looking lady who, again, just took it in a stride. Really, really, really classy about it. Didn't didn't um claim victimhood didn't make more out of it and need to be made out of it again i think you know she's a fairly big woman close ties a young kid i'm sure she was well within she was more she was more than in control of the situation she didn't really want to kind of baby her or put down around and say oh baby you're right she was in control um but i just rate her for just being cool about it because in effect she could have ended slow ties career very very quickly but instead she um Really? She loses job. What job do you lose? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna click the article from the sun, but this is from the enemy. So I apologize straight away. I'm sure he's um so this is a picture. This is from oh this is from BBC News actually. This image is a cruddy in it. Again, you know what this image reminds me of? It reminds me of you know like um you get that sometimes with Coke as well, innit, right? Where your decision you're like I think remember joey diaz mentioning it once where he said like um joey diaz the comedian the comedian said he he would never do coke before he did stand-up comedy because he felt as if like coke did it kind of numbed it kind of numbed his ability to connect to the crowd you lose that kind of emotive part of you you just end up being you do you can tell your jokes you're obviously high you're obviously high and stuff and you've got good energy but you can't emo, you can't connect with the crowd on an emotional level so maybe alcohol is the same, where it kind of stumps your decision making process. You don't really read social cues. Yeah, social cues, right? You don't really read social cues. So in your head you think you're the you know, you're the big party boy in the scene, but then you don't know how people are looking at you. You think you're cool, but you actually look like an absolute mess. And this picture just encapsulates it, right? 
like the lady Catherine Ryan is completely within control, um, analyzing situation, being chill, and he's like leering at her, thinking that she's yeah, she's obviously on my nuts. It's like, mm, is she though? Really, is she? Um, but yeah, he apologized. So big up to him. He said, "The enemy, please for my award to Catherine Byrne for she is the hero of the year." That's what started as a joke between us. Escalated to a point of shame for actions on my part. I want to <laughs> absolutely apologize. There's no excuse. No, I'm sorry. I'm not a hero, Catherine. You are a master of your craft. And next time, I'll take my seat and lead the comedy to you. To anyone a man who is a reflection of the situation been in those videos, I'm sorry. I promise it's better. Let's talk here. <laughs> and look what she says in reply. I knew you were joking. Crash on your on your on uh, on your every on your very award worthy album. I hope you know that a bad day on the social media passed so quickly. Everything will be better tomorrow. What an absolute wonderful woman! Like honestly, well, I, I'm just gobsmacked by how much of a classy woman she is. I just exp- I just would have ex- again. I wouldn't have blamed her if she went full victim on this and used it as a moment to kind of prop herself up to speak to a bigger issue about men feeling too comfortable. Uh, being overly touchy, um, invading personal space, because there's legitimate concerns there. Legitimate, like not even to be like you know social justice warrior guy, but that could that could be legitimate concern. But instead, she, you know what? He's a young kid. He's you know again, Slow Time's been famous for a while, but you know he's really went into the stratosphere over the last few years. She's aware of who he is. She knows his reputation. He probably was acting a fool beforehand. She has some contest situation. And she just dealt with it accordingly because she's a grown up, right? That's an amazing way to deal with it. And I'm pretty sure because of because of the severity of the situation, and I'm sure his agents and manager are probably telling him that this is probably the last kind of uh buy or allowance he gets, maybe from the industry, especially in public. He can't afford to do many of these mistakes, especially if you, if you know anything about the British media, you know, you know, they kind of enjoy building people up and tearing them back down again. So I'm hoping for slow tight it is a a message it is kind of a learning um uh, curve for him and, and and obviously ultimately as well for the enemy it's a great ratings you know spike for them because no one's watching that shit i don't know again i'm not too sure unless you live at home and you've got a tv or you're at uni halls how would you watch the enemy awards i only saw the clips because i was on social i was on twitter and people were like reposting it and stuff so which is always one that always really pick always really um this kind of confused me why most of these award shows don't just stream live on Twitter or on Instagram. People are on those platforms anyway. You might as well just like stream it live on there and have people actually watch it and make clips as they go along. Like just with a two second delay or something would help. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, b- big up Catherine Ryan, um, absolute legend. Oh, is she um, so t- oh she's she's Canadian, so Canadian comedian. Um, so yeah, big up her um, for just being an absolute. Uh, diamond about it really like i can't have anything more to say about it because his career was hanging by a lifeline there after that kind of whole occasion and i just wonder who the guy was who he was arguing with actually in the first place but yeah i'm sure him and the guy have the, the, there's no love lost there i'm sure the guy is still gonna want to be on some stuff with him afterwards but yeah um what did Taylor Swift do when she came after the but did she kind of say some mad comment i don't know but anyway imagine that collab right Taylor Swift and robin that actually be a pretty decent tune i reckon um just make sure Taylor Swift isn't 